Hey guys, it is day five in the Sweet Summer Read series. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Today we are talking about historical fiction that has either just hit the shelves very recently or will be hitting the shelves over the course of summer 2017. These are the ones I'm super excited for. They'd be perfect for like sitting in the garden with like a glass of iced tea with like the birds chirping around you. Anyway, that is what I am picturing when I'm picturing you enjoying these books. So let's get into it. So the first book that I wanna to recommend to you is The Women in the Castle. Now this did come out, I believe, in May. It takes place at the very end of World War II and it follows a widow. Now her husband was killed in World War II because he was part of the resistance and he was aiming to um, assassinate Hitler. Um, so he was killed, he was not uh, successful. And his widow now lives in this castle and she has vowed to herself that she is going to help to save and protect the other women who were widows um, of men in this resistance. So she brings them all to the castle and they're trying to form a new life now um, after they've lost their husbands and after the end of the war. Uh, this sounds so wonderful. I really want to read this very, very soon. So that is the first. Next, I want to recommend Where the Light Falls. This is coming out in July. This follows a group of characters after the French Revolution. It's three years after the storming of Bastille. The streets of Paris are filled with the spirit of revolution. So this follows three characters who are now trying to adjust to the world after the revolution. Um, some of them want to join the revolution. Others are trying to evade the French army. I read the biography of Marie Antoinette, which was fascinating and very sad, uh, but I haven't read anything specifically about the revolution and people during the revolution. So I'm really looking forward to this. Next, I want to recommend The Diplomat's Daughter by Karen Tanave. This comes out in July as well. It is set in 1941 after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. It follows a 21-year-old who is the daughter of a Japanese diplomat, and she is taken and put into an internment camp. And there she meets Christian, who is an American, but he has German parents. And they were arrested for un-American activities. And they are linked together in this internment camp and find hope in one another. Soon after, she is taken abruptly with her mother and sent back to Japan. So she loses touch with Christian. But then she forms a new relationship with a man named Leo. He's a Jewish refugee who lives in Shanghai. Um, and so they create a bond. So it kind of follows these three characters and how they deal with the war. Christian joins the army and then Leo uh, lives in a little slum and he's trying to evade the Nazis. It sounds so fantastic. Next we have The Girl in the Glass Tower. This is coming out in July. It takes place in the 16th century, which is amazing for me because I seem to only read like World War One and World War Two fiction. Now, I believe that this is following Mary Queen of Scots, if I'm not totally mistaken, I could be. Lord knows I probably am. It's set in the 16th century in Hardwick Hall and she cannot leave this hall. It's become a prison for her and she is trying to escape. Now, and the last one is a book that's already out right now. It's called A Piece of the World. Now this is by the same author who did The Orphan Train which I adored. This follows a girl named uh, Christina Olson. She lives on a tiny little farm in um, Maine. And she has like an, a normal average life until she meets uh, Andrew Wyeth, who was a painter. And she becomes the subject of one of his like well-known, most famous American paintings and how that affects her life. 
it sounds lovely as well. Honestly, I would read anything by that author because I loved The Orphan Train so much. So those are the books that I think are going to be really big hits um, in terms of historical fiction at least this summer. So I will be back tomorrow with some backlist books that I think are really, really great reads for the summertime. So if you don't want to splurge on a bunch of books at the um, bookstore, you can just go to your library and pick up some amazing summer reads. So that's tomorrow, so be sure to tune in. I will see you then. Bye!